Hey guys, this is Pokemon Warrior Cap 13, and uh, <laughs> I know I haven't been uploading for like a month or longer even, but I just haven't had the motivation to record anything. So yeah, uh, it's mainly because of school. Uh, it's not because of this, even though I've written quite a bit. Uh, this month, but it's not because of that, no. It's just because of school, really, because I have a lot of homework. And, um, my voice, sorry if my voice sounds pretty bad, but, uh, that's because, well, I'm not sick, but I just have, like, a really bad voice. Yeah, because I've been coughing a lot. Yeah, but, uh, Today, as you can see the date down here, it is October 31st, which means it's Halloween. Ooh, spooky. I've been playing this game. It's awesome. Okay, no, we're back to, we're going back to Pokemon. No, we're going to stay away from Fire Emblem here because, um, yeah, it, 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 I'm a Poketuber, but I can love Fire Emblem because Fire Emblem is awesome and it's amazing. I hate my friend for making me get addicted to it. Anyways, we are going to talk creepy stuff. That was me hitting my book. It is not the door. And my water bottle. Okay. We are going to talk creepy stuff here. And the reason why I have a book on my desk is not because I love to read. Because I do love to read. But, like, it, it's not for that purpose. No. I, I actually have a lot of crap on my desk. I need to clean it. Anyways, um, to the point. Uh, stuff. We are going to be talking about creepy stuff. Well, it's not really creepy creepy, like spooky creepy, but like disturbing creepy. Yeah, that's what we are going to be doing. No, go away. Go away. Go. Go away. Nah, go away. Eh. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, spooky creepy stuff. Yeah, um, and it's from the Pokemon manga. Woohoo! Uh, so basically, uh, well, there's spoilers here, but I, I, I won't read it. I will just like describe it. I, I want to read it, but I'm gonna describe it. Uh, so basically, um, Archie and Maxi, they do. They both disappear at the end of the Ruby Sapphire chapter. And then in the Emerald chapter, it is revealed that the Gil Hideout's identity is none other than Archie. So, um, and at the end of the Emerald chapter, Archie explains how he got the sword and armor that he has that makes him Gil Hideout. Well, it is basically explained that Surd saved him and Maxi from the air car like the electrified el electrified air car and uh she's like yes I'm gonna save you but no I'm not here here's like a sword and armor now fight for it fight to the death to the death for it so basically she's only giving in one of them a chance to live well not really live they're gonna die anyways they're already dying because they absorb the orbs into their bodies but they're going to die with the suit but the suit helps them to live longer so do you get what i'm saying yeah uh so yeah she only has one and so Basically, it's a fight to the death. And then after that, Arch, uh, um, uh, Sapphire assumes that, well, she assumes that 
Archie killed Maxie, and it is heavily implied that he did kill Maxie. So yeah, that's a bit disturbing, huh? Mm -hmm. uh, let's see now, let's check the rating of the manga, shall we? Uh, rated A for all ages. All ages! This is a kid's manga. And you're putting death into it? Like, someone killing someone else in, like, pretty much cold blood. Yeah. Oh, that's a bit disturbing if you ask me. This is a kid's book. Remember that, guys. <laughs> this is the one way I like to poke fun at the manga people. This is like, yeah. But, okay. Although, in the Viz Media print, which is the one that I have, <clears throat> which is my personal copy of the manga, Sapphire asks if Archie got rid of Maxi. She didn't say kill. In the Chungi and... I'm gonna assume the Japanese version as well. She asks, did he kill Maxi? Either way, it is still implied that she's asking if Archie killed Maxi, pretty much. Well, except it's more. She literally says it in the other versions, but in the one that I have, it's implied. And it still is implied. And even though Archie doesn't say it directly, it is still implied nonetheless. That he did kill Maxie. So yeah. I know. This is a kid's book. Remember that. <clears throat> okay. And then. At the very end of the book. The very end. Crystal uh, reveals something. Like. Well. No. Like. We see her memory. She doesn't directly say it to Professor Oak, but like in her me her flash, her flashback reveals something. So she's ask she asks Archie who gave him the sword and armor, and then before Archie disappears into a blinding flash of light. We don't know what this is, but we're going to assume that he is dead as well. Um, we're going to assume that. Uh, and he says, Team Galact, and then it, he disappears. Uh, so he's uh, referring to Team Galactic, and it is later revealed that Surd is part of Team Galactic. Now, in the Chung Yi version though, he didn't say anything. He he didn't really say who it was. In this media, uh, he says Team Galact and then yeah. Okay, but that right there, like this this whole thing right here, it's like disturbing. And so that's like it's the creepy disturbing and I'm sorry for spoilers in the manga but I had to talk about it because I am I'm obsessed with the Pokemon manga okay maybe not but I love it I love the Pokemon manga so yeah uh next week I might talk more about it but yeah uh, my original plan for the series was like gonna be reviews for the books I might do that in the future but for now, I'm just going to be doing discussions of Pokemon manga and other things, too. So that's just going to be my weekly video. Videos. Those are going to be my weekly videos for you guys. So, yeah. Well, uh, I thank you all for watching, guys. I need to stop talking now because my voice is getting very, very bad. So, yeah. Um, thank you all for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, until next time, peace. Bye-bye, guys. I love you all. Later.